हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज लैंड फॉर्म्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट टाइप्स ऑफ लैंड फॉर्म्स एजेंट्स इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लैंड फॉर्म्स इम्पैक्ट ह्यूमन इंटरेक्शन विद लैंड फॉर्म्स एंड वे फॉरवर्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ लैंड फॉर्म्स लैंड फॉर्म्स आर द नेचुरल फीचर्स एंड शेप्स ऑन द अर्थ सरफेस दैट हैव बीन शेप्ड बाय जियोलॉजिकल एंड जियोमॉर्फिक प्रोसेसेस ओवर मिलियंस ऑफ इयर्स द स्टडी ऑफ लैंड फॉर्म्स इज एसेंशियल फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द अर्थ्स हिस्ट्री जियोलॉजी एंड एनवायरमेंटल प्रोसेसेस नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू टाइप्स ऑफ लैंड फॉर्म्स फर्स्ट इज फ्लूवियल लैंड फॉर्म्स फ्लूवियल लैंड फॉर्म्स आर क्रिएटेड बाय द एक्शंस ऑफ रिवर्स एंड देयर एसोसिएटेड प्रोसेसेस fluvial landforms are the result of the processes related to rivers and their interaction with the earth surface erosional forms include river canyons v shaped valleys waterfalls and rapids meanders depositional forms in fluvial landforms include river deltas flood plains alluvial fans oxbow lakes and leaves karst landforms are primarily formed in limestone and other soluble rock areas through chemical weathering Erosional forms include sinkholes, limestone caves. Depositional karst features like stalactites and stalagmites are common. Glacial landforms. Glacial landforms are the result of the movement and actions of glaciers. Erosional forms include U-shaped valleys, kirk, hanging valleys, erites and horns, glacier fjords. Depositional glacier features include drumlins and eskers, outwash plains, kettle lakes. coastal landforms coastal landforms are influenced by sea or ocean processes they are shaped by marine processes such as erosion deposition and wave action coastal depositional forms include barrier islands and beaches while erosional forms include cliffs sea arcs and sea caves aeolian landforms aeolian landforms result from the action of wind and wind blown materials Depositional alluvium features include sand sheets and loess plains while erosional forms include ventifacts and yardangs. Now let's discuss about agents in formation of landforms. Water fluvial processes, rivers and streams, erode valleys, create meanders, oxbow lakes, deltas, flood plains and terraces. Rainfall causes weathering and erosion leading to features like gullies and rills. Oceans and seas Waves cause coastal erosion leading to features like cliffs, sea waves and sea stacks. Depositional processes from beaches, pits and tombolo. Ice glacial processes. Glaciers carve out valleys creating U-shaped valleys, kirks and moraines. They can also lead to the formation of features like drumlins and eskers. Wind aeolian processes. In arid regions the wind can erode surfaces creating yardangs and deflation hollows. it can also deposit sand forming dunes and loess plains gravity gravitational processes cause landslides rock falls and avalanches these mass wasting events can drastically alter landscapes in a shorter period tectonic forces movements within the earth's crust can lead to the uplift of mountain ranges formation of rift valleys and creation of trenches in oceanic areas earthquakes a result of tectonic activities can cause land deformation volcanic activity the eruption of volcanoes can create volcanic mountains plateaus and various other volcanic landforms like calderas geysers and hot springs chemical and physical weathering breakdown of rocks on the earth's surface due to various chemical reactions temperature changes and other physical factors this can lead to the formation of features like karst landscapes in limestone areas biological agents actions of living organisms including humans can also play a role for example roots of trees can cause rock disintegration and human activities can lead to artificial landforms now moving on to impact of human interaction with landforms loss of fertile topsoil due to deforestation and unsound agricultural practices reduced biodiversity and species extinction from habitat destruction altered river flows and increased flood risk from dam construction and urbanization elevated temperatures in urban areas due to concentration of concrete and asphalt urban heat islands land and water contamination from industrial waste agriculture and mining ground sinking or settling 
subsidence due to over extraction of groundwater and mining, loss of cultural heritage from the alteration or destruction of natural landmarks and sacred sites, local climate alterations and increased vulnerability of certain landforms to global climate change due to deforestation and urbanization. Increased occurrences of landslides and mudslides from construction on unstable slopes and removal of vegetation. Depletion of resources like minerals and timber from overexploitation and reduced access to natural recreational spaces due to urban expansion and industrialization. Now lastly moving on to the way forward. Integrate landform conservation into India's curriculum amplify with the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change campaigns and highlight ties to global pacts like the Convention on Biological Diversity. Utilize India's Forest Rights Act, Environmental Impact Assessment and the Green India Mission while aligning with global efforts such as the Paris Agreement. Boost local involvement with tools like JFM and champion global community-driven efforts like community-based adaptation for biodiversity protection. Propel initiatives like Project Tiger align with global restoration drives like the Bond Challenge and expand safeguarded areas in line with the Ramsar Convention. Harness ISRO's satellite prowess for landform watch, foster South-South biodiversity cooperation and build global conservation partnerships and champion national ecotourism, tap into global REDD plus frameworks for forest and spur public-private synergy via the Corporate Environment Responsibility Blueprint. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims-based question. What are the primary agents responsible for the formation of coastal landforms? 1. River deposition. 2. Wave action. 3. Tectonic uplift. 4. Tide movements. Select the correct answer from the following codes. Only 1 and 3, only 2 and 4, only 2, 3 and 4 or only 1, 2 and 3. And now main question. How have human activities such as urbanization and agriculture influenced the alteration and degradation of natural landforms? So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.